Hello guys and gals, and welcome uh, to another episode of Unique Items! Uh, today we're going to be looking at the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shield known as the Swordback Hold. If you guys have never actually taken a look at this shield, let's stop for a moment and let's just take a look at the gloriousness of the freaking graphic that this shield has. I mean, it is a beautiful red with a black center and huge spikes that come out on all sides. I mean, if somebody was fighting you with this shield, you would be a little intimidated, okay? The shield is kind of freaking nuts. And you got to think that the shield had, you know, the, the freaking paladin has an ability called shield bash. Can you imagine getting bashed with a shield like that that has just like massive spikes coming out of it? It would freaking hurt. And even in the game, it has just a striking appearance. I mean, it just looks absolutely beautiful, even when it's on your arm. And the ethereal version also looks freaking epic, because then now it's freaking just awesomely ethereal and freaking awesome looking with the huge spikes coming out. I mean, quite honestly, Swordback Hold is one of those shields that just looks amazing. Now, Swordback Hold does have some very interesting effects, and it also happens to be a low-level dueler shield for Smite Paladins. Um, it, it's a lot more than it seems. <laughs> a lot <laughs> more than meets the eye. Like my Transformer channel. If you guys haven't seen my Transformer channel, I know I'm plugging it everywhere. Ginger Toy Mentor. If you like Transformers, look up Ginger Toy, Toy Mentor. Uh, that is my, uh, my channel that I'm doing Transformers on. I've already got like 20 or so videos over there. Uh, so Swordback Hold is a spiked shield, is a normal difficulty shield. It has 51 defense. Um, it is not particularly high, but that for fifth, level 15, it's actually very good. Um, it has a 60% chance to block on Paladins um, and uh, on other characters who may want to utilize this. Uh, the Swordback Hold is 55% for Amazon, Assassin, and Barbarian, and it is 50% for Druid, Necromancer, and Sorceress. It has a smite damage of 5 to 9, which is relatively low, um, especially for a, you know, a little 15 character. 5 to 9 isn't even really that high. But uh, smite damage on shields goes up even higher, you know, as you upgrade them, which is something that we will look at. Uh, we also have a durability of 40, uh, strength required of only 30, which pretty much means that everybody can utilize this shield, and a level requirement of only level 15. Uh, fill level 15 is specifically posturing this shield at the beginning of Act 2 Normal Difficulty. So literally right when you get to Act 2, you're walking through the sewers, that's when you could probably put this on when you're on your way to kill Radiment. 20% uh, increased chance of blocking is the reason why this shield has 60% chance to block. Uh, otherwise, it would be a lot lower. Uh, we also have the uh, plus 60% enhanced defense on this, and uh, that is variable from a 30 to 60, so you can find a pretty crappy swordback hold. So if you were going to upgrade one of these for some low-level dueling, I would recommend that you find a 60% enhanced version uh, for that purpose. We also have plus 10 raw defense on here, which is just added right on top. And then we have attacker takes damage of 10, which, believe it or not, in normal difficulty, act 2, it will actually kill some monsters. There are monsters that will walk up to you and bonk you, and the attacker takes damage of 10 will kill them. Uh, which is kind of insane, considering that most of the time attacker takes damage, uh, numbers are usually useless. You can, of course, add a socket to this, but not until you get to uh, act 5. Now, um... The ethereal version has a 72 defense, and of course all the same statistics as far as uh, like durability and smite damage and level requirement, but it does have 10 less on the strength requirement of only level 20, uh, because all ethereal items have 10 less uh, stat points. Not 10%, 10 less. So just a flat 10 removed from the item. Um, now, we can upgrade this to the Exceptional and Elite versions, and I do believe it actually upgrades very well to the Exceptional version. Uh, if you guys are unaware of this, um, Swordback Hold has a very nice um, spiked shield base, and uh, all of the spiked shields have extremely high smite damage. Now, if you compare them to Paladin-only shields, they're not that good, but they are the highest of the normal shields uh, as far as smite damage is concerned. Um, I may have skipped over the open wounds. I don't know how I did that, but let me talk about the open wounds for a second here. So 50% chance of open wounds is kind of insane. 
Um, especially for level 15 character, uh, because Open Wounds is a bleed based on character level. Uh, so the higher level you go, the better that bleed will become. And um, it works on anybody. You could put this on a Barbarian, you could put it on an Amazon, you could put it on a, uh, a Paladin, you could put it on a freaking Druid, a Sorceress even, if you're running around bonking things. It doesn't really matter. 50% um, chance of Open Wounds is 50% chance of Open Wounds. It's absolutely amazing and will trigger on any melee or ranged attack. And uh, Open Wounds is a great form of additional damage, and it also prevents the monster's regeneration, which can come in extremely handy for a lot of different classes. Um, it doesn't matter what character you are, when a monster starts to regenerate and ruin all your hard-earned work to kill them, uh, having Open Wounds there to prevent their regeneration is certainly an amazing boon. Now, um, let's upgrade this to the exceptional version with the Shale, a Tal, and a Perfect Diamond, which is extremely cheap, by the way. And um, this is going to go from 51 defense, 60% chance to block, 5 to 9 smite, 40 durability, level, level 15 with 30 strength requirement, to the Sword Back Hold Barbed Shield of 123 defense, 67% chance to block. As you can see, we went up by 7% by upgrading the shield. Uh, smite damage went up very nicely from that measly 5 to 9 to 18 to 35. Our durability did increase from 40 to 55. Uh, our strength requirement went up to 65, and our level is only level 30, which is not bad. Now, as an offensive shield, this is actually a very nice offensive shield. Even if you're not a paladin, even if you don't use smite, um, having 50% chance of open wounds is absolutely excellent in a low-level shield. And um, it is going to aid you very well on any number of characters. A zeal paladin, a uh, bash barbarian, uh, you know, a, a fury druid... Um, any other number of characters that you might be leveling up could definitely get good use out of that 50% chance of open wounds. Um, we also have the Sword Back Hold Ethereal version, which can be upgraded as well with a Shale, a Tal, and a Perfect Diamond. And that's going to go from the uh, 72 defense, a 60% chance to block, uh, 40 durability, 20 strength, level 15, to the 179 defense, 67% chance to block, 18 to 35 smite damage, 55 durability, 55 strength requirement, and level 30. Um, as you can see, it does not go below the level thir or above the level 30 requirement for level 30 low-level dueling. So this actually makes an excellent low-level dueler paladin shield. Um, what I think most people do with this thing is they upgrade it. I think they even use the ethereal version because I'm pretty sure in low-level duels, um, you know, in PvP in general, uh, durability doesn't decrease. So you don't necessarily have to worry about the fact that it's ethereal. You just don't use it on, <clears throat> you know, monsters. And um, obviously you're going to want to socket it with a Larzac quest and probably put something very nice in there, specifically revolving around your low-level dueling. Uh, now we can upgrade this a third time, and this is probably not going to be a good idea, uh, specifically because it doesn't really have that much high enhanced defense. It also is relying on a flat defense increase. Um, but, I mean, you could. You could definitely upgrade it to the third tier. And let's see how it does. So it's going to go from 123 defense, 67% chance to block, 18 to 35 smite damage, 55 durability, 65 strength, level 30, to a sword bag hold blade barrier. Uh, 254 defense, 70% chance to block. So we went up another 3%, right? 67, 68, 69, 70. So, yeah, about another 3%. Um, and uh, now we are, smite damage has gone up again from 18 to 35 to 26 to 40. So not a huge increase on the max, but a pretty nice increase on the min, which has brought us closer together uh, in our damage range. And uh, definitely will give us a nice little bump in smite damage. We also get the 83 durability instead of 55, so the durability did increase again. Then we got the 118 strength requirement here, uh, which is a little bit more, obviously, than 55, but still well within most Paladin's ranges, and uh, a level requirement of only level 63, which isn't too bad. Um, the Sword Back Hold Barb Shield Ethereal version upgrades from 179 defense, 67% chance to block, 18 to 35 smite damage, 55 durability, 55 strength, level 30. <laughs> To the 376 defense, 70% chance to block, 26 to 40 smite damage, 83 durability, 108 strength, and level 63. So, um, honestly, all in all, the sword back hold has some pretty interesting uses on a lot of characters. Um, low level, at level 15, it is absolutely excellent for 
pretty much any melee character that you would want to put this on. Um, you could even potentially use it with a ranged character if you were using throwing items, uh, just to apply the open wounds maybe on targets. Uh, maybe you could put this on a, even like a necromancer or something, on a swap with like a very nice throwing axe or something. Maybe maybe you found a throwing axe with ITD on it, and you're just throwing axes at somebody to apply open wounds, which is actually something that I have done before on a solo self out necromancer which has put a uh, prevent monster heal bow on my other hand just to prevent the monsters from regenerating um and at level 30 it again becomes useful as a low level dueler item and uh obviously there are some paladin shields at, on pve that would definitely trump swordback hold but swordback hold does have some very interesting mechanics in that it has high def uh, block chance it has the 50 percent chance of open wounds and it does have extremely high smite damage uh, because it, of course, is a spike shield, which is the highest smite damage normal difficulty or a regular shield, non-class specific shield. Um, the second highest, by the way, is the bone shield, and the th I think the third highest is the ancient shield. I could be wrong on the third highest, but um, for the most part, if you're looking for smite damage, you either go with a spike shield, blade barrier, or a paladin class shield, uh, one or the other. And um, this shield, as you can see, has pretty decent smite damage, even when it's fully upgraded. Now, let's take a look over at Silas Pen real quick, and let's see where we could potentially go if we wanted to farm this item uh, for our low-level characters. Uh, so, assuming at level 15, we want to actually look at low-level monsters. Um, so, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at bosses at normal difficulty with about 50% magic find, which I feel like is more than fair. And... Um, we need to find this in Act 2. That's really where you want to use it. And it does look like Dur Duriel in Normal has a pretty good chance of dropping it at 1 in 634 for Quest and 1 in 1,368 for, for non-Quest. Um, other than that, it does look like Bale, Diablo, Mephisto all drop it, but that's far after uh, level 15. Uh, let's take a look at Super Uniques and see if there's anybody uh, in Act 2. So we got Fang Skin. He's pretty easy to farm. Uh, Fire Eye, Dark Elder, Ancient Ka the Solus. Fire Eye is by far the easiest uh, because you basically just go through the Arcane Sanctuary portal and um, you uh, just walk back through the Palace portal. And, uh, and then there he is. He's always guarding the Palace portal. Uh, so pretty easy there. And, uh, I mean, there's some decent options for Act 2 if you wanted to try and get your hands on a sword back hold early on. Um, and it does look like there's some pretty good options for Act 3 as well. But uh, for the most part, um, I honestly, I would say just farm Fire Eye. He's probably the easiest one by far. And if you don't have access to Fire Eye um, yet, because maybe you're not in Arcane Sanctuary, Dark Elder in the Lost City is 1 in 2,153, and he is... Obviously, a little bit easier to get to to Fire Eye if you don't have access to Arcane Sanctuary yet. Um, all in all, Swordback Hold is one of those absolutely beautiful shields that just really kind of just, just... It's so sexy. It's just a sexy shield. You guys, you guys got to admit that there is a sexiness to this shield. It reminds me of some black and white Reeboks I used to... Or black, black and red Reeboks I had when I was a kid. I bought them black and red Reeboks, and I was so happy I had them things, and people made fun of me for them, and I don't even care. I love them damn things. And this shield is just epic. It has a pretty cool design on it, too, uh, you know, like in on the inlay and whatnot, and even, like, the little, like, I don't even know what these things are on the left and right of the shield. I wonder I wonder if um, the, the Blizzard North, when they created this item, didn't go to, like, a museum or something. And, uh, and actually find a real shield that looks like this. There probably is a real shield that looks like this somewhere. Because uh, when we did the... Um, when we uh, had the talks with the developers, one of the things that they said was that the items, a lot of the items in the game were actually like... They, took, they went to museums and took pictures of the items and then modeled them after the items. So this very well could be a real item sitting at a museum somewhere. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you watching my videos, uh, even when it is a very spiky one, like Sardbag Hold. And as always, get yourself a beautiful shield. This thing's oh, this so sexy.